very good evening to all our mentorship traders 11th of december friday evening nine o'clock as always taking a look at the indian equity markets from a weekly perspective i'm glad i'm happy that everyone's joined in a warm welcome to our uh, new joinees to our community and um, we'll take up the nifty few indices and then we'll straight away go to uh, a micro look into our trades, decisions, and few stocks. So, well, the market is on a high, and uh, it has it is not showing any intention whatsoever to even come down by any meaningful short-term correction. I have been uh, been a little cautious since the thirteen thousand one hundred. So the top. 300 to 400 points I have uh, missed out um, for the index um, because I thought that the successive divergences with the price and momentum which was shaping up all the way uh, towards 13,200 will eventually give me some degree of short-term correction, some degree which uh, never came. The divergence itself has the immediate divergence itself has negated itself. We have an intermediate one. Nevertheless, the Fibonacci's uh, targets are met. It's an it's at an all-time high. If we take a look at the monthly chart with the uh, with the channel, it's taking it out beautifully and it's holding above the 13,500. No sign of um, bearishness coming in from the monthly chart yet. The weekly chart, one time frame lower. We have a have a breakout of this multiple channels, which we were keeping a close eye on this, if you remember. Um, this breakout came close to that 12,600, 800 mark, and it was a one way after that. Any medium term correction should find support close to these levels, but that is a little far fetched. No divergences whatsoever shaping up on the weekly uh, price momentum indicators. Daily chart. We have close to what a 17% rally, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, close to an 18% rally so far from this low, this low of 11,500 to 13,500 now. A neat 2,000 points rally uh, from the index. Uh, the immediate divergences have uh, dissolved. The intermediate divergence is there. Um, last two sessions, we did see some, we did see some uh, decent. Should I use the word volatility or should I say quite a sharp bounce back uh, from the intraday low? Uh, if you see, uh, if you uh, break down the intraday charts of few stocks and the index, it fell, let's say maybe over a period of 10 to 12 bars, but when it bounced back, everything got recovered in three bars. So the sheer sharpness of the bounce back was very, very evident in the last two trading sessions which brings um, a very closer micro look into the low of Friday and the low of Thursday. Now to make sense of this, we'll go to a 75 minute time frame chart, one time frame lower. And this is what I mean. We see a double topish kind of a, a rectangular boxy kind of a consolidation. Uh, this is a 75 minute chart wherein we still have the rising channel. Um, the channel top, had proven as good resistance, then a breakout, then a good support, and then one way rally. Because it had proven to be a good resistance as well as a support, so I've kept it here. And I expect if at all markets come down 13,300, the channel top can provide some um, support. Now, this particular double topish on the 75 minute time frame takes the shape or the vertical height. Sorry. Yeah. So the vertical height is something like this, which brings in close to the, which brings in very, very close to the upper border of the channel. There you go. Though the, if the breakout comes, it should be somewhere from this level. Not bearish, but this is what the last two trading sessions have given to us. Um, Early weaknesses and late sharp bounce back. Same thing we noticed today as well. And this price behavior has led to, if you can see, 
the Thursday is low and the Friday is low, being very, very close to each other. Now we're looking at 13,425, 414. So it's 13,400, which is uh, the level that one should look for. Now the issue, the problem um, with the recent volatility is outside bar. If you notice, today is an outside bar. It's made a little lower low and it's also made a higher high. So outside bar definitely uh, creates a lack of directional clarity. Thursday was a lower low and a lower high, which was the first sign that, okay, let's see, maybe some correction. But overall, um, I have been, what, um, less or underweight equity, careful and cautious since 13,100, 200 levels. And as I, as I was saying, the last 300, 400 odd points on the Nifty, I have been um, out of it. I have not made much of this move. So been proven wrong. Um, but I'll always wait for, uh, at least for my Nifty trades, I'll uh, at least wait for a short term dip. And it it will come eventually, it can't just continue to go up. However, if I look at the Bank Nifty daily chart, okay, this is a little more interesting. Number one, it has taken out all the Fibonacci uh, serious resistances that was there on my charts here. But what looks interesting for the bank nifty is this kind of a uh, intermediate divergences between the price and momentum indicators is quite starking it's quite quite evident which was not there on the on the nifty it's created uh, it's created a, a bearish army pattern over wednesday and thursday um, it's not an outside but today but i think for the bank nifty levels to watch out would be definitely thursday's low which is 30,255. this this low is important for the bank nifty um the weekly charts and the high time frames are again strong for the bank nifty i had kept this um, okay let me get out of this yeah so for the bank nifty i have kept these two channels if you recall one is this long-term blue channel, and this was the breakdown of the pandemic crash. Now, this did act as a good source of uh, support down here, and the index is inching close to the lower border of this channel. Now, time will prove, time will say whether this acts as any resistance or not, but is it slowing down? Well, uh, we've got some volatility after one-way strong rallies. We had sharp movement. So if you break it down, if you look at candles like this, sharp rally, then marginal narrow range day. And now what we have seen over the last two days is the range is pretty decent. It's not very big or very small, decent range, but decent enough volatility also. So um, can this lead to any form of reversal? I don't know, need to be seen. Is there any uh, decent setup for reversal? I would say yes, there is enough technical evidence which suggests that there can definitely be a reversal, a short term dip at least. But these things get negated also. We have, we have seen this time and again. But uh, Bank Nifty is, I would say, chart wise, the daily charts looks a tiny little uh, bit more um, evident on the weaker side. Amongst the sectors, all of them had a nice run. I will focus on the weekly charts primarily. Um, pharma doing well, did slip significantly from the week's high. It's trying to create this kind of a double topish pattern. We'll see how it behaves, but uh, very strong uptrend. Pharma, IT is going to be very, very interesting going forward. Um, for the contrarian traders, I don't know if uh, you'll find any reason, but it's definitely going to be very interesting for the contrarian traders going forward with the IT stocks, because um, yes, it has given us a big breakout. Yes, it's been doing exceptionally well, but like I explained in Bank Nifty, there are some distinct signs of price momentum divergences shaping up, which means not the best of time and price to buy. If you have it, protect your open profits, a book partial profits a go a little underweight use a dip to go you know buy back buy that price again but definitely don't buy at these kind of levels uh, the it 
Um, auto has just moved into a relatively stronger um, relative strength. It's just started to outdo the benchmark, though you can see how auto is significantly below its life highs. A lot of distance to cover. It's dealing with its uh, November, December 18 highs here. Uh, this is the weekly chart, which has somewhat created almost like a bearish Rami pattern. Uh, it will be interesting to see whether next week finds any form of a weakness in this space or not. Maruti would be a very interesting stock to keep a close watch on. Uh, the mid and small caps are performing exceptionally well. Mid caps are on their sixth consecutive positive session. Um, so is the small cap. Now, if you recall small cap, last week we had this gray line drawn here. And this gray line also, I think, corroborates with um, these uh, lows as well as this high. So it's got some resistance, but we've seen in this market resistances don't matter too much. But again, all these charts just make one sense to me, provided the fact, yes, it is stretching itself so much that it's proving all the bears wrong. Um, the way I read this is um, not bearish, but or not bearish, number one. Uh, also not bullish. That's that's the way I read most of the sectors and the index as well. Mm -hmm. May not be a reason to go short or bearish, but definitely not a reason to go uh, long is, is the way I am looking into it. Um, real estate also in its fifth consecutive weekly gain, it had crashed big time um, during the month of Feb, March. Very, very sharp sell off. Uh, almost 50% from 333 down to 162. Um, but it's managed to bounce back and it's looking fine. So any dip would find some support. Uh, you'll be interested to keep a close watch on DLF, Goldridge Properties kind of stocks. FMCG, this is primarily ITC. Uh, exceptional strong move and we've got a big breakout finally. The index was uh, hovering close to the 32K mark. Now we've got a big breakout. Uh, this will be quite evident on the monthly charts. You see how the stock or how the index have moved now into a new life. -i. This is the breakout. I'm sorry. This is the breakout that the index has given. Full credit goes to Hindustan Unilever and ITC, primarily ITC and then Hindustan Unilever. PSU Bank, nothing much. Now, one thing I would like to share with you um, before I take up your doubts and questions, etc., is... Uh, if and when the market decides to correct, I feel it will be the bank nifty and within the bank nifty, the private sector banks, um, which can give you some amount of weakness. There can be other sectors also which can con contribute. But if the bank nifty comes down anytime soon, and if this divergence does not get negated and leads to some kind of correction. If this divergence, which we saw in Bank Nifty, is very, very evident here in private banks. So if the Bank Nifty decides to come down, thanks to this divergence, if that happens, if that fructifies, then this will fructify as well. So in case the market gives you an opportunity to uh, go short and you are a contrarian trader in the derivatives market, and you would like to go short, then I would rather say check the bank nifty and check the private sector banks. And also, it'll be a little daring as well, keep an eye on the IT space as well. Right? But um, as of now, I think it's going to be one more week for me, wherein I would say stay cautious, not the best of time to go overboard. Um, the index is extending itself day after day. Um, as I just said some time back, the way I read this is uh, not bearish, but definitely uh, not bullish either. Right? So that's it from my side. Short and sweet about the indices and sectors. Let's talk about uh, your experience over the week and the trades and the doubts that you have.